everything that Google did for web search, Microsoft wants to do for agents, minus the monopoly. But here's the twist. It's not just about having the smartest AI, it's about orchestrating an agentic web where everyone wins. Think of developers, enterprises, and yes, even Salesforce, kind of. And Microsoft just redefined how we build, deploy, and collaborate, not with people, but with autonomous software agents. At the Build 2025 event, the company unveiled its boldest vision yet. Yes, Copilot is still here and it is getting better, but the real headliners is agentic AI at scale and a foundry to build them and a web to connect them. So let's dive into what Microsoft is doing and why it just took the lead in the most important AI race of our times. So for years, we've had AI tools that assist. Now, Microsoft wants to help you build tools that act. CTO Kevin Scott calls this the rise of the agentic web, a world where software agents reason, collaborate and evolve. But what were his exact words? If you're not embarrassed by what your product looked like 12 months ago, you're not building fast enough. And that urgency is now baked into Microsoft's agent stack. And the goal is to let developers and enterprises build agents that don't just chat, but reason, coordinate and deliver business results. And the numbers already show traction. So you have 400,000 agents built, 160,000 organizations onboarded. And this isn't just research and development. This is the start of a new software stack. But what is Microsoft's biggest bet? It's a full-blown agent factory delivered via Azure AI's foundry. So here's what makes it special. So you have multi-agent orchestration out of the box and then Copilot Studio with agent memory, identity and autonomy. Then you have MCP and the A2A protocols that let agents talk to each other. Intra-agent ID for digital identity. Purview plus Defender for enterprise-grade governance. So you're not just spinning up a chatbot. You are building a distributed workforce with security, rules, and APIs. And yes, GitHub Copilot joins the show too. Now with deeper workflows, GitHub issues integration, and live patching capabilities through agents. As Kevin Scott said on stage ahead of Microsoft's Build 2025, we're not reasoning constrained anymore. We are infrastructure constrained and we are solving for that. If this sounds futuristic, here's what's already happening. So at Stanford Health, agents now automate tumor board preparation, pulling records, writing summaries, and finding clinical trials. And you have T-Mobile and Wells Fargo who are already building domain-specific agents to cut down search time by 80%. And then HCL Tech is deploying agents to automate support across global teams. So from healthcare to telecom, these aren't just pilot projects. These are early signs of the agent-led enterprise. So now let's talk about the competition. Google's DeepMind just dropped Alpha Evolve, an agent that rewrote production code, reclaimed 0.7% of Google's compute and set a 56-year-old record in Matrix Man. It's elegant, powerful and closed for now. Meanwhile, Microsoft's approach is quite different. You have open protocols, developer tooling and cross-platform support. But here's the subtle flex. So Microsoft's sales agents work with both Dynamics 365 and Salesforce CRM. Let that sink in. So while Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff compares Copilot to Clippy 2.0, Microsoft's agents are helping Salesforce users close deals, and that's the power play. Meanwhile, Amazon has stayed quiet but calculated. So while Microsoft builds Rails and Google shows off AI that rewrites its own infrastructure, Amazon just open-sourced its secret weapon. It introduced Strands Agents, a lightweight software development kit that lets you build, test, and deploy AI agents with just a few lines of code. And it's already running inside Amazon's Queue Developer, AWS Glue, and even the VPC Reachability Analyzer. So Strands takes a model-driven approach, which is to define three things, a model, a set of tools, and a prompt, and the agent handles the rest of it, which is planning, chaining thoughts, and calling tools. So think of it as React.js, but for AI agents. So Strands supports agents across Amazon's Bedrock, Cloud via Anthropic, Llama via Meta, and even OpenAI through Light LLM. And the SDK runs from anywhere, from laptops to cloud clusters. And the best part is that Amazon isn't doing it alone, because Strands already has contributions from Meta, Anthropic, Langfuse, PwC, 
mimo.ai and others yes this is open source amazon and it's aiming to quietly dominate the tooling layer for agentic ai so how is microsoft different so at build microsoft announced something big not one but two agent stores one for internal reuse and the other to publish agents across the organizations this coupled with agent sandboxing evaluators version control telemetry and feedback loops you now have everything needed to run agents at scale so not just build and forget but build track and evolve and with agent identity audit logs and compliance by design microsoft's offering checks all the cio boxes too so for developers across india this is your moment because you don't need billion dollars infrastructure like google but you need tools that let you build faster smarter and safer so with github vs code azure and now copilot studios agent stack you can now ship agents that solve real business problems for real clients at real scale it's the perfect storm so you have open protocols like mcp then the azure foundry orchestration then copilot's developer ecosystem so essentially microsoft just lowered the barrier to enterprise grade ai and india's developers are primed to take the full advantage end of the day this isn't just microsoft chasing trends this is microsoft betting the company on agents and if google built the index of the old web microsoft wants to build the runtime of the next one which is the agentic one so a software doesn't just respond it works with you where memory autonomy and collaboration are built in and where anyone from solo developer to fortune 500 can build deploy and govern intelligent agents at scale so let us know what you think in the comments below and yes aim is covering microsoft build 2025 from ground zero so stay tuned for more such insights and information just like this this is aim tv where we bring you the latest and the biggest ai and tech stories like never before and always remember think ai think aim